We need a close up of this. Look at that. This is Chef Brian Sow's basic ass egg fried rice. And you know what? Sometimes the simplest stuff on earth is some of the best stuff on earth. Chef Brian Sow here, not your typical chef. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how I make egg fried rice. That's right, Uncle Roger, I'm coming for that Uncle Brian title. You best look out, cause I'm gonna show you how you do this at a conventional Western style kitchen that you keep shitting on people about, but gotta walk. You know what, I got several walks. Watch this, see one walk, two walks. I got three walks. As with any good recipe, make sure you watch the video all the way through before attempting this on your own so that you're fully prepared to make the best possible egg fried rice. Let's talk a little bit about our cooking vessels. Now, ideally for a fried rice, you have some kind of wok. I just prefer a wok or a wok style pan because the sides are very tall and you know, rice is very small. And as you spin that around and cook it, it'll actually catch more of the product. Again, you can do it in this. If you cook a smaller quantity, you'll have less of a chance of rice falling to the side. With that out of the way, we're going the walk. Next, you are gonna need some kind of vessel to help move the product inside the pan. I'm going with this rubber spoon um, because this is a non-stick pan. I don't wanna scratch it up. If this was a regular wok, it was all metal, you can absolutely use a metal utensil. But again, for the sake of this video, I am using a rubber spoon. So let's go over some ingredients. And of course, for egg fried rice, we're gonna need eggs. And for my egg fried rice, I like to do one egg per portion. So one for me and one for Auntie Helen. Another important ingredient, rice. More importantly, day old rice. So I made this yesterday. Oftentimes in my household, we will make enough rice for two to three days in one go. And whatever's left over from that day's cooking, I'll put into a container and keep it in the fridge. And that's exactly what I have here. Here I have a whole bunch of scallion. I'm really not gonna use all of this, probably more like two thirds of it, okay? Couple cloves of garlic, just like my egg. One for me, one for Auntie Helen. Soy sauce, plain regular soy sauce is fine. Don't use any of that whack ass less sodium. Go full sodium, all right? Go big or go home. Sesame oil. The unsung hero of Asian cookery, ground white pepper. And how could I call out Uncle Roger if I don't come armed with some MSG? MSG. I couldn't get Sasa Indonesian MSG, but I got the next best thing. It says made in Indonesia, Miwan. Never heard of the brand, but MSG is MSG. We're gonna use some of that in this dish today, all right? Let's mince up this garlic. There's this little root end over here. I'm just gonna cut that off. We don't want that in our fried rice. Let's crush the garlic. All right. And then just quickly mince it up. For the garlic, you wanna go on the finer side. You don't want, you don't want it to be too big and chunky. And that to me is a nice minced garlic and that's all she wrote. All right, scallion time. We're gonna cut off these root ends. We don't want that in our final product. And I'm also gonna cut off the top green part and use this for garnish. We'll set this aside and chop that after I cut the root end. And I'm doing like, I don't know, a millimeter thick. And this is actually gonna go in the beginning with the garlic. And uh, I know I shit really hard on Jamie Oliver about sauteing the scallions first, but if you go with the root ends, it's a lot more robust, but also drier, so it won't get slimy and wilted. We just wanna sweat it out with the garlic and extract that flavor, okay? So let's put this into a bowl. And what we're doing right now is setting up our mise en place, or we are putting in place our ingredients for the dish that we're going to make, which is crucial, 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 which is also why I said to watch the video all the way to the end before you attempt this on, on your own, so that you have all your stuff in place when you go to make it. Now, 
the green parts. This is gonna give you that fresh pop. And I'm going to mince this up, all right? I'm gonna do this on the thinner side. Okay, again, this acts as a garnish, so this will add a nice visual to it, as well as, you know, adding great alkalinic pop, you know, that oniony pop. And we're gonna add this into the rice at the very end, all right, so that we don't wilt it down and we don't get it slimy because this particular part of the scallion holds a lot of moisture. Chopsticks. I'm gonna whisk this up. I prefer to whisk up my egg first. Some, uh, I've seen some chefs go straight in with the egg. Personal preference. All right, we're at the stove. And remember, this video is aimed for the, you know, the person with a Western style stove because not all of us have access to a gigantic high powered wok stove, right? First thing we're gonna do, of course, turn on the flame and we want it on the highest heat possible. But the key, the key here is the quantity of product we're making here. Because remember, every time we add something into the pan, it cools down the pan and it's gonna take some time for it to come back up to temp that we need. So I'm putting in, I'm guesstimating here about four tablespoons of vegetable oil, all right? Uh, maybe that's four to five. Give or take, I'm eyeballing it. The oils hit the smoke point, screeching hot. First thing we're doing, we're going in with the egg, okay? I'm keeping it in motion, and when it's about two thirds cooked, it don't let me! I go in with my spring onion and garlic, okay? Gonna just spin that around. Break up the egg a little bit and get ready to put in our rice. And again, I'm gonna do half of this. All right, got half of our rice. And before we do anything else, we wanna fold this rice into the egg. And you can see I'm using the bottom of the spoon to help break up those clusters of rice to try to get the individual rice grain structure, okay? This is a Western style stove. It's not as powerful as a wok stove. So it's okay, I don't necessarily need to keep this in motion all the time because I'm trying to keep the pan as hot as possible, all right? But remember, we're doing a smaller portion, thus we have more surface area on the pan to, again, try to get that wok hay on this, all right? And now, I'm going to spin it and then break the clusters as I spin it. And what's happening is every time I spin it, the oil's getting in between the rice and it's gonna help separate the rice or keep the rice separated as I work in that oil, okay? And again, I'm just showing you the most basic form of egg fried rice. This is something I would do for my family if I need a quick meal to put together. You can get as fancy as you want. At this point, you can start to put in some roast pork or beef or chicken or shrimp, whatever you want. I'm just keeping it basic, all right? Next step, I'm gonna push the rice a little bit to the side. Put some soy sauce directly on the pan. Again, trying to get that wok hay effect. I wanna reduce the moisture content in the soy and almost get it to that burn point. So I'm doing just a couple tablespoons, okay? I have a little time because this is a Western style stove. I'm putting in a tablespoon of MSG and a little dash of white pepper, okay? The unsung hero of Asian cookery. And now, let's fold in this soy sauce. So I'm gonna let this cook on the pan a little bit. And while that's happening, just a touch, oh, no, that's the soy sauce. Just a little touch, maybe a teaspoon 
yeah, I would say about a teaspoon of sesame oil right over the rice. Don't go overboard. No, I would say that was half a teaspoon. Okay. Again, folding it in, bottom of the spoon, breaking up the rice clusters. All right, last but not least, heat off. Green onions, in. I like a lot of green onions. Completely up to you. And we're just gonna fold it in once, twice, three times. That's all she wrote, let's go plate. Okay, let's plate. I'm gonna go straight in, okay? Just like that, straight into the bowl. Get every last grain of rice. Oh, oh. So fluffy, I'm gonna die. We need a close up of this. Look at that, this is Chef Brian Sow's basic ass egg fried rice. And you know what? Sometimes the simplest stuff on earth is some of the best stuff on earth. Made from the best stuff on earth. Spoon, Uncle Roger, spoon, right? Nice grain separation. I can smell the sesame oil, the white pepper, the soy sauce. Let's take a bite, oh, nice and steamy. Mmm, mmm. Oh yes. Ah, again, it's the simple things in life that are always the best things in life. My cooking style, I always try to go or start with a classic and expand from there. And this is one of those dishes, if you get the basic first, there's no limitation to how wild and crazy you can go with it. Just no fucking chili jam, no fucking silken tofu, keep Jamie Oliver away from any fried rice and you'll be good. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it because this was an absolute blast. Let Uncle Roger know in the comments who needs an Uncle Brian title. Until next time, I'm Chef Brian Sal, not your typical chef, and I'll see you really soon. This is actually pretty fucking good. <laughs>